This week we're going to share with you five things that you can find to do outside of Franconia, New Hampshire. Old Man of the Mountain. This is a series of granite cliff ledges that when viewed from the side look like an old man. The cliff collapsed on May 3rd, 2003 and then in 2020 they opened up the memorial. The memorial is kind of cool. It's wheelchair accessible. It's very open. It's very clean. It's very easy to walk and they have these steel profilers that when you look at them from a certain angle you can see what the old man would have looked like. The steel profiler things were cool. They were cool. They were kind of hard to see. Yeah, they're a little tricky because you they have markers on the floor and you're supposed to line up with about how tall you are and then you look up at the thing at a certain angle and you can see what the old man profile would have looked like before it collapsed. You can tell they put a lot of effort into oh, it. Oh yeah. The place is great. It's right on Profile Lake. There's a nice loop that goes around the lake. You get great views of Franconia Notch. It tells you how the notch was formed, some history of the area. So definitely a cool thing to go and check out. Yeah. The basin. This is a 20 foot wide granite pothole that eroded from the last ice age 15,000 years ago. Very cool area. Very yeah. easy to walk. Very nice paths mm -hmm. going down. Very nice river like kind of snaking through. I guess it was more like a stream. Yeah, but very, very pretty. It is the very. The water is incredibly clear. Several parts where it kind of comes down and just like does like little S curves and you can see how it's like eroding. Yeah. The, the granite. And it's like, it's so perfect too. Parts of it look like a slide you would find at a, at a water park. Yeah, it really does. Just, you could just sit in it and just take it all the way down. Yeah, it's impressive what nature does yeah. for the course of 15,000 years. But the very bottom of it is cool. There's two viewpoints. You can view it from the lower end and then you can take the wheelchair accessible and view it from the top portion. Right. I think that's the better one because then you could see the old man's foot, which it really looks like an old man's it foot. It does. It was bizarre. Yeah, you very know, bony. Right, and a lot of times you see a rock that's called something and you can't quite figure out why, mm -hmm. but this one, it looks like a foot. Like, it's kind of creepy. Yeah, so the whole thing is worth hiking. It's all in the same portion as uh, all the other stuff in this video, so definitely worth making a loop and kind of stopping by and checking it all out. Yeah. Artist Bluff. This is a one and a half mile loop. We actually did this one twice. We went the first time just to go check things out. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of up, there's a lot of rock. So a lot of scrambling and hopping over things. Mm When you look at it, uh, the, the reviews and people leave their pictures and it's always just pictures of the lake cropped in real nice and tight so you think it's going to be amazing and you get mm -hmm. up there and you see the interstate. Yeah. So, you know, it's still pretty. It is pretty. But just know what you're actually getting into. Yeah. It definitely seemed like one of those like local hikes, one of those that the locals hike and then you hike it a few times during the year. Yeah. It probably changes throughout the year. Oh, so. sure. It was a it was a very pretty hike. It was mm -hmm. nice to see uh, the bluff. The bluff was interesting. The views were good. So right. definitely recommend checking it out while you're in the area. Cloudland Falls. This is a 2.8 mile, about a thousand foot elevation gain. This one starts along the Falling Waters Trail, and this actually connects to a larger loop that goes to the Franconia Ridgeline Loop, which was the whole purpose of kind of coming to Franconia. As we were looking so forward to hiking mm -hmm. this eight mile, 4,000 foot elevation gain hike. But Hurricane Ida, which was the remnants of by the time it got up to New Hampshire, it kind of dampened the plans and everything. Right. We still hiked a little portion of the beginning of the trail. <laughs> Lots of waterfalls along the way. Very cool waterfall at the end, Cloudland Falls. Yeah, yeah, the, the waterfall was very pretty at the end. There were little stream crossings and things like that. Mm -hmm. um, 
this hike was a little on the tough side too with the elevation gain and again with the rocks but if you make it to the end if you make it to that waterfall right it's it's worth it it is worth it because you can get right up next to it mm -hmm. you can feel the cold mist coming from it and right. cold air so you've been hiking and you're all hot and sweaty getting up there it's a nice treat to kind of cool down before your before your hike back yeah so definitely stop by and check this hike out check out Clyde Lamp Falls but if you can hike the Franconia Ridge Loop we're gonna come back oh, next yeah. fall a little bit cooler then the leaves will be changing at that point mm -hmm. so it'll definitely be an awesome hike either time of the year but definitely probably cooler in the fall yeah Kankamaga Scenic Byway translates to the fearless one this is a relatively new scenic byway. It's like paved in 1960-ish. It's it's pretty neat. I mean, it's got several overlooks that you can yeah. view the White Mountains from. Mm -hmm. It's 32 miles. There's no gas stations. There's no anything out there. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's one of those drive up, hop out and see the sights, take the sights in, and then and then drive back. Yeah. And Boise Rock. We were kind of like a rock but it apparently has an interesting backstory behind it this guy was going through the area he got caught in the snowstorm he decided to take refuge under a rock cut open one of his horses and like hid inside of his horse to keep him warm the, the skin the, the skin pelt? what do you call it on a horse i don't it's, know it sounds like at least two movies that i can think of right so maybe the movie got the inspiration from the story i don't know what the real story is there but it's a giant rock on the side of the road it has a story to it mm -hmm. you can drive right off and see it it's like a little rest stop area yeah, type thing is. climb along the rock and then be like okay you got a picture of the rock and mm -hmm. go on your merry way so boise rock well that was it for northern new hampshire like i said we were kind of bummed because we didn't get to do the big hike that we came here to do we still found plenty of interesting and unique things to do around the area right so and there was more there are more things that we had tagged that we just didn't get around to because the weather was not cooperating with us Mm -hmm. while we were there. So definitely things to do in the area. Yeah, absolutely. So I figured we'd share a couple with you. If you're in the area or you're gonna make plans to, it's definitely worth stopping through. Mm -hmm. The mountains are absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. The sun's absolutely gorgeous and there's moss covering everything. And it's just, it's a, it's a really pretty place to be. If you like this video, go ahead and give us a thumbs up and we'll see you on the next one.